Welcome to April 22nd, 2016's video, Yellow Sun, White Sun, and maybe a third one. The Yellow Sun looks like the local solar object we've discussed, and the Little White Sun is present, but very affected by clouds. So we're going to take a closer look at that. For those of you new to my videos, here's uh, what I mean by the Little White Sun. This is in addition to the yellow local solar object, I guess I'm going to call it. I don't know if this is what's present in the sky all the time, but certainly today it was a local object. And we can see this by outlining the shape of the sun in yellow, where it's lighting up the brightest in orange. And then in purple is where it's supposed to be lit, you know, if the sun is in fact 93 million miles away. The reason these are unlit is because the light is local. It's an incoherent but closer local light. Now the rest of this I'm playing at 2x until we get to the next point I want to focus on. And I'm going to zoom in there. We'll take a look at how much the little white sun's appearance is affected by the clouds. And that's quite a bit actually. So here we're zoomed in and playing at half speed. And you'll notice that the little white sun's appearance seems to be dependent on the density of the obscuring clouds, what I think are the chem clouds. It shows up variably under what appear to be normal clouds. It's hard to tell anymore what is a normal cloud. The rest of this I'm playing at 2x speed again, just to get through uh, all of the footage that I have for today. The second video I have, it features the same things again, but I'm not going to focus on that. Instead, I'm going to focus on what appears to be a third object, third planetary object, that emits some degree of light, but I don't know whether it's reflective or whether it emits it on its own. So here's the second video. We got the little white sun present and the yellow sun is present then to about the seven o'clock position by that building down there. There appears to be another light emitting object and you may see it once directly but it's better evidenced by the way the light rays shift. You can use them to point to the origin of the light the main screen is a close-up and focus on the lower left side of the the larger frame, which I've put the uh, the unzoomed in frame up in the upper right there. You can see the little white sun and everything. In particular, if you take a look at when the light goes up and down, and that's mostly me messing with the brightness, you'll be able to see glimpses of it I think. You might have to play it over a couple of times to tell but right there on the left side the light is not consistent with the lighting if it were from the position of the little white sun or the yellow sun and that's why it's important that I put the the picture in picture up there. I got a few more for you uh, from the same date, but I've yet to process and review that footage, so stay tuned. Plenty more coming. 